everyone. Thank you so much for joining my solo adventure to Ipoh, Malaysia. Today, I will share with you my part 2 delicious and beautiful Ipoh. For me, the main highlight of holiday and travels will always be food. <laughs> Beside the culture, history, scenery, shops, people and many other things. <laughs> so, let's start with breakfast. Ipoh is famous for white coffee. So, if you love coffee, must try Ipoh white coffee together with toast that come with lots of butter <laughs> and also half boiled eggs. Eat it together with white pepper and soya sauce. Yummy! Next, after my delicious breakfast, time for my walk walk around the area. I walk to Padang Ipo and Nasi Kandar Dato Sagor. This is one of the places in my list that I wanted to visit and try their food. But unfortunately, after all the walk walk, I'm still very full for my light breakfast earlier. Can you believe it? <laughs> I thought my food should get digested by now. <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> Everything looks so yummy, smells so good, and the queue is very long, so I plan to come back next time. But at the end, I don't have time to visit this area again. So, until next time, <laughs> Nasi Kandar, I will definitely come back for you. I had great time walking around Ipoh Old Town. I really like the murals and the shops, Concubine Lane and nearby area. Oh Yan Hor and Han Chin Tet So Hakka Museums are very interesting.
after all the walk walk and museums, <laughs> it was way past lunch time, and I finally feel hungry again. So I went to one of the famous chicken rice place in Ipoh, Restaurant Tauge Ayam Lawong, located around 10 minutes walk from my hotel. I ordered a single portion of chicken and rice and tauge, <laughs> all bean sprout, and also chicken innards, which consists of heart, gizzard, and liver. Everything was so delicious and satisfying. No wonder they are very famous and busy. Chicken meat together with their sauce was just delicious, succulent, savory, and just yummy. Eat it together with their spicy and tangy chili sauce, alternate with crunchy and fresh bean sprout. By the way, their bean sprout are very simple but taste so delicious without the usual grass or particular taste and smell that sometimes I will get when I cook bean sprout at home. <laughs> and the chicken in it are also very delicious. As usual, I surprised myself that I actually eat and finish everything. Seriously, everything. Clean. <laughs> okay, I left some chicken bones and a bit of chili sauce. <laughs> I usually forget about chilies when the food is very good. There are so many famous and delicious food around Ipoh, especially Old Town area. Do note, some places may have very long queue, especially during weekend and public holidays. <laughs> so, it's good to plan several alternative eateries just in case you can't wait a few hours for food. After my very good meal, I went for my walk walk and I walked past the famous Funny Mountain soya bean drink and dessert. Since my hotel room is nearby, and with a good working mini fridge, I bought some for my dinner. It was delicious. So that was my day too. I stayed additional day in Ipoh to rest and eat <laughs> before I travel to my next destination. So the next day, I walked to Paris restaurant or coffee shop for breakfast. They are famous for their hakami or noodle. Really delicious. I love it. Especially when I mixed their noodle with their homemade chili sauce and their topping was just yummy. And since the famous curry mee store is nearby, I went to try it as well. I mean, I really don't have much time anymore, so... <laughs> I ordered set A, and also because I think set B might be a bit too much after my hakam. The curry mee was nice. By the way, I asked for chili sauce, and they said chili sauce are not available for set A. Only those who order set B and C will be given chili sauce. <laughs> So, I walked around the area and I happened to walk past Pasar Besar Ipoh, Ipoh Wet Market. It was big, pretty clean, too bad I stayed in a hotel without stove, so I can't buy any fresh, beautiful vegetables. For dinner, I went to Tong Sui Kai or Dessert Street. I used Google Map and it was pretty easy to find. They open from 5 p.m. until midnight. Even though according to Google, they are open every day, but only half of many stalls are open during my visit on weekdays. 
According to one of the store owner, they take turns to rest and only on Friday to Sunday that all the stalls are open. So, best to visit on Friday, Saturday or Sunday. Anyway, there are still lots of food and dessert to choose from. I had dried mushroom chicken meat and I ordered boiled clams from nearby store. Simple and yummy food, I love it. After that, I walked to Gerbang Malam for night market. But because it's a weekday and it looks like it's gonna rain and it's still pretty early, so not many stalls are open yet. <laughs> so I went back to hotel. The next day, I walked to Chongyang restaurant or coffee shop to have noodle with traditional homemade fish ball and many other delicious toppings at Cheong Chi. Everything was delicious. <laughs> Really, it's delicious. I love it. Simple and yummy. Really comfort food for me. After that, I check out from hotel and travel by bus to my next destination. So that's it, my CC, walk walk and eat eat. <laughs> Solo adventure in Ipoh, Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching. Join me again next time for more yummy food and interesting places to visit. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much and have an awesome week ahead. Thank you, bye bye.